Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a brief video here on uh, the difference between chewing your food and juicing your blending. So please watch this whole entire video. This is a very important topic and a lot of you have uh, sent me comments uh, wondering what's the difference and I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and explain that. So please watch this video. It won't be too long. First things first, this is a large bowl that I've been using for a while. Um, this is a video I made back in uh, March 10th, uh, you know, nine days ago from today, and it has avocados in it. Um, and why this may slow the process down slightly, uh, it doesn't mean that it's going to stop the the detoxifying process. Um, it just helps people to keep more weight on and not to lose more weight than they should, even though there will be some weight loss. So I'll get into that here in a moment. So the point of this is uh, that this particular bowl, I'm not working out right now. I'm going to be doing that here in the next week. So I'm really curious what's going to happen with these avocados. Because last year, August 8th, 2018, I did 60 days with just fruit. There was no avocados. There was no herbs. I was running four or five days a week, three to five miles a day. I was exercising my whole upper body once per week. And I would eat nothing but fruit, but it would be nine pounds of fruit, but with no fat. Now, while I could still retain muscle and keep muscle, I wasn't able to grow anymore. This is why it's hard for people when they're detoxing to be bodybuilders. However, I feel that now throwing in the avocados, what's going to happen if I do this now, and, I'm, and that's what I'm going to see. While all fruit is the quickest way, throwing some herbs is not going to slow it down. However, even though avocados are a fruit, it's a fat source, I wouldn't suggest going over three avocados. Uh, I'm talking about the big ones. Uh, it's, just, it's just too much per day. And I'm fasting 21 to 22 hours right now, and this is exactly what I did here. So, compare this to juicing. Would I want to juice? No. If you're not trying to lose weight, uh, I wouldn't do any juicing, especially with all fruits, because when you're juicing all fruits, you're separating the, the, the fructose and the fiber. So now you're drinking just straight sugar. And that's going to be a big, big problem for some people. So while it's okay to drink some juices, if you're transitioning from a processed food, fast food, junk diet, and you're still eating solid food while drinking juices, I don't, I don't foresee a problem with that as much as just drinking straight juice. You still should limit those after a 30-day period, even if you are um, doing a lot of solid food, uh, because the whole point is that if you're eating solid foods, this is just the way nature intended. Think about that. And think about this point I'm trying to uh, really let everyone understand. Thousands of years ago, did people go and look for the nearest tree and find the outlet that so they could plug their blender in and they could sit there and start, you know, juicing all of these, you know, luscious fruits or were, or were people chewing them? Of course, people were chewing them. We're meant to chew our food. It, it just, it, it's just the way it is. Now, juicing is second best. But if you're losing a lot of weight, and or you're doing excessive fasting over 24 hours, and you're not making a lot of progress because consistency is the key, you need to get rid of the juicing. It's very simple. If you're losing too much weight, cut out the juicing. If you're trying to lose a lot of weight, say you're 100 pounds overweight and you want to juice because you, you want to lose weight faster, then I don't see a problem with it. But I still would take maybe one fruit, maybe some berries, and put it in with maybe four or five different herbs, you know, basil, mint, dill. You can maybe do one leafy green, maybe throw in some broccoli, and that's pretty much it. But if you want to sit here and you want to juice five different fruits, and you want to separate this fiber and the fructose making sugar water, that's up to you. I'm not saying it's bad for you compared to store-bought. It's not going to kill you. But there's nothing better than chewing all of these foods. There's nothing better. So keep that in mind. If you're going to chew your foods, it's going to be much, much better for you. And this is what I've been doing, and this is what I know works better. And I know some people aren't going to agree with this because so-and-so said to do this, so-and-so said to do that. Look, it's your life, 
it's your body. You choose to do what you choose to do, but sending me comments saying that you're losing too much weight but you're juicing, you should know the answer now. So I, I don't know what else to tell people. If your goal is to lose weight, then by all means continue following through with your goals. However, if your goal is is to be the same person you were, I mean, let's say you were 10 pounds overweight when you started and you lost those 10 pounds, and you decided to continue to juice, and you lost 10 more pounds, so now you went from 150 to 140. You started out at 160, so now you dropped, so now you're below the weight you wanted to be, but you're still juicing, right? Well, you're doing excessive fasting over 24 hours on top of that, and you're like, James, I just keep losing so much weight. Or you're not eating enough food. Remember, this is nine pounds of food for your activity level. You need to eat enough for your body and your daily activities. Keep that in mind. I've had people literally, before I end this video, send me of, uh, of what they're eating, and they were eating a quarter of this bowl. And they're like, James, I'm losing massive amounts of weight because you're eating like two pounds of food a day and you're trying to exercise. Common sense will tell you if you eat one piece of steak and you exercise and, and you're burning that off very quickly, you're going to lose weight, period, no matter what food you ate. So use common sense. Keep moving forward. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do future videos and other topics. Thank you so much, folks. Keep moving forward. I wish you all the best in your journey. Bye-bye.